Former Bakersfield High alum and Olympic wrestling gold medalist Jake Varner returned to Bakersfield this week. And he was the featured guest at Friday's Garces BHS contest and participated in the ceremonial pregame coin toss as these two teams met for the first time in three years. Now we're in a scoreless first quarter and Garces is on the move. Cruz Adams finds Dominic Frash on the swing pass. Frash loses the defender and he'll get a Rams first down. And a few plays later on fourth and one, Connor Karlovsky gets a simple handoff, goes up the middle untouched, and he's gone. Karlovsky's dart up the middle for the score, put Garces on top, 7-0. Same quarter in the BHSD steps up. Adams lets this one go deep, but the driller's Kevin Hayes comes up with a pick. Now it's the same score, second quarter, and driller's quarterback, Asani Rufus, rolls left, can't find anything, reverses field, and gets a first down. And the drive culminates with this Rufus two-yard keeper for the score to tie things at seven. This would be the score at the half, tied at seven, but Garces would take control in the second half and get the 10-point win over the Rams. Now, Ridgeview has split its first two games, and Foothill was still looking for his first win of the season after a one-point loss to Arvin. And these two teams were getting it on tonight, Ridgeview and Foothill. Now we're in the second quarter, and Ridgeview has the ball coming up shortly. Ridgeview's got the ball. Kamari Moya, Cotton Moya with the handoff to Shaquem Baines. He's going to get around the corner and score the touchdown, 6 0. Later on, Moya Edwards with the toss to Brandon Tripp to the two point conversion attempt, and we get a touchdown right here. The two point conversion is, is good. The field goal right here is going to make it 16 0, Ridgeview. Ridgeview's going to go on to really dominate this game and defeat Foothill 43 to 7. West featuring their game against North tonight, and the band played on. We're in the third quarter. North's going to get a nice run here. This 25 yard run is going to go, and he gets tackled out of bounds. West was leading 37 0 at this point. In the fourth quarter, Stanley Dubar takes the pitch, goes around the side, and he's going to get to the end zone for the touchdown. Later on, Patrick Marit Marzet goes in from five yards out, and it's 44 0 West. West continues to dominate. Hunter Villanueva is off and running. He's going to go 55 yards to the house. West goes up 50 to nothing after Miss PAT. And you know what? West really didn't have a care in the world. They would take this one in a strong shutout 56 0 over North. Highland and Garces Valley get down tonight. The crowd really rocking for this one. Now, Golden Valley has the ball in the fourth quarter on its own 20. Alex Zoto passes to Luis Matos. He's going to shake a tackle and get in for the touchdown. Now, Golden Valley goes up 20 to 17 at this point. But we have just over a minute left in the fourth quarter. Golden Valley's kickoff to Wyatt Campbell, and Campbell's going to do something. Shakes a tackler with a stiff arm and has a nice return. This is going to set Highland up. Highland has the ball in his 29th, first and 10. And Drinker Brandon is going to get the ball, and he's going to take it in for the score. Highland is going to go up 24 to 20 at this point. They would hold off Golden Valley and get the 24 20 victory. Now, up next, Liberty tried to rebound from last week's one point defeat, and East was looking for its first win of the year. The evening news has changed on 23 ABC. World News is now airing at 5.30 here in Kern County, and we'll see you a half hour earlier each and every night. Watch 23 News at 5, World News at 5.30, then 23 News at 6. Save with Labor Day pricing now through Monday at Weatherby's. Pay no sales tax or pay no interest for 48 months. Plus free delivery and setup. All Serta and Stressopedic mattress sets are now 25% off. Every king, every queen, full and twin mattress set now 25% off. Pay no sales tax or pay no interest for 48 months. Plus free delivery and setup. Save with low, low Labor Day pricing now through Monday at Weatherby's, 7th and Chester in Bakersfield. 
We're KFC, and we have a family meal special that will make you think twice about cooking tonight. Our seven-piece meal for just $11.99. That's seven pieces of the Colonel's world-famous, freshly cooked drumsticks and thighs, complete with large mashed potatoes, large gravy, large coleslaw, and three hot home-style biscuits. All made with care by a cook in every KFC kitchen for just $11.99. It's our seven-piece meal special for a limited time only at KFC. Today is a KFC day, and today tastes so good. Sunday, September 30th on ABC. Let's Ask America, the only show that lets you watch, play, and win from home. These guys can win a fortune while sitting on their couch. That's the American way. Let's Ask America. Let's Ask America premieres September 17th on 23 ABC at 11.30 a.m. Liberty hit the road tonight after a disappointing loss to Fresno Central last week due to a failed extra point. But you know what? Liberty was back tonight, and they were, and they were taking on Tehachapi on the road. Now we're in the first quarter, and Liberty has the ball first. Josh Medina is going to go airborne, and he's going to throw this pass to Kenny Davis for the nice touchdown catch and a 7-0 Liberty. Now, Corbin Jounty of Liberty is going to get the ball. He's going to reverse field, come back to the right side, and he's going to get a nice gain out of this deep inside to Hatchet territory. Jounty with a nice run, still can't be stopped. And all that work would lead to this. Jounty is going to go in for the touchdown run, and it's going to be 14-0 Liberty at that point after the, the PAT was good. Now it's 14-0 Liberty still, and Tehachapi is trying to get on the board. Jorge Garcia is going to go in, and he's going to get the score, and it's 14-7. But Kenny Davis comes back with another touchdown pass, and it's 14-7 Liberty, 21-7 Liberty. Corbin Jounty goes in again. Liberty controlled this one all night with a 45-7 win over Tehachapi. Strathmore and Chavez tonight were trying to get busy. Now we're in the third quarter, and Strathmore is up 27 21. And Chavez is Enrique Salcedo runs it in for the touchdown, and it's 28 7 Chavez. Now Chavez and Eduardo Chapa runs it in for a touchdown. He's going to get, they're going to get the extra point, and it's 35 10 Chavez. Now Strathmore's David Medina runs it in for a touchdown, a 30 yard score. Strathmore is trailing now 35-17, and that would be the final. Chavez takes it 35-17. Frontier faced another southern section foe, and Kennedy tried to get back on the winning track. Coming up next. You're watching KERO 23 ABC in Bakersfield. Coming up on Nightline, meet the surrogate grandma who gave birth to her own grandson at age 61. Plus, inside the hidden war between pirates and the American hired guns who battled them on the high seas. Only Polaris delivers the ultimate combination of power, suspension, and agility. The only trail capable side by sides featuring the ultimate value Razor 570. The only four passenger sport machines led by the all new Razor XP4 and the undisputed king of high performance Razor XP. Razor sharp performance only from Polaris. Now's the best time to buy. Don't miss the Polaris factory authorized clearance going on now. KFC has a special that will make you think twice about cooking tonight. Our seven piece meal for just $11.99. Seven freshly cooked drumsticks and thighs, large mashed potatoes and gravy, large coleslaw and three biscuits. All just $11.99 for a limited time at KFC. Today tastes so good. The best of the best are back. Let the battle begin. Dancing with the Stars All-Stars Live premieres Monday, September 24th on ABC.
I'm pregnant. Let's Ask America, the only show that lets you watch, play, and win from home. These guys can win a fortune while sitting on their couch. That's the American way. Let's Ask America. Let's Ask America premieres September 17th on 23 ABC at 11.30 a.m. He's eating your golf ball right now. Come on, Bear, we're trying to play golf here. Dad, Dad don't. <laughs> Yay, good boy, good boy. Thanks, Bear. Frontier lost at Lompoc last week. Tonight they played their second consecutive game against a Southern section opponent. And you know, Frontier came out ready to play tonight. Now we're in the first quarter and it's scoreless and Mark Point wants Frontier to shed some tears. This pass is gonna go and they're headed up the sidelines on a nice gain. We're still scoreless, and Austin Cole is going to get this 28-yard pass to Ethan Shaghofer. And then next, Austin Cole is going to go, uh, I'm sorry, Aaron Stratton is going to go in for the 10-yard run, and it's 7-0 more part. Frontier seems to be fired up. Totally fired up, the fans seem to be. And then Evan Moore is going to throw this 15-yard pass to Justin Cash for the score. Moore Park is going to go up. They're already up 7 0. Still in the second quarter, Nevermore's 20 yard pass to Jasmine Thin is going to be a nice game. Moore Park would eventually go on to the 17 7 win over Frontier. McFarland and Kennedy tonight. Now we're in the first quarter and we're tied at six. And Kennedy quarterback Marco Adame is going to make this throw. And it gets intercepted, though. And it's going to get run back going up the sidelines. And it's going to go for a 90-yard interception return. And you know what? This game is going to be all tied at six after the missed PAT. Now, we're in the second quarter, and it's still tied at six. And Rolando Arroyo is going to drop this ball as it's kicked to him. And it's going to get recovered, but it's dropped again. And then there's finally a turnover, and Kennedy recovers. Okay, McKennedy would wind up winning this one, 28 to 13. Miramonte in East tonight. Now it's 14-13 East at the half, and East is in the red zone, but Miramonte's Mason Rollins with the INT, and he's gonna go the other way, take this one back, and you know what? He's going to the house. The two-point conversion would turn that up, and East would go up 21-14. Now, East is in the red zone again. Tanner Vieira is going to take the handoff and going for the short touchdown, and we're tied at 21. But after some penalties, East Marcus Rojas makes a nice throw to Richard Aguirre, and he's going to get the tiptoe catch into the end zone, and we're tied at, and we're tied at 21. Marcus Rojas is going to go in with a keeper, and East goes up 28-21. Final score tonight as East would go on to and Miramonte in the final. And we have some other scores and other contests. Centennial went on the road and lost to Clovis, while Independence opened up a can on Fresno McLean. Also, Stockdale routed Inglewood, and Taft fell to Exeter. Arvin took care of South 28-23, and Shafter defeated Selma 41-23. And that'll be all for this week. Come back again for another edition of the 23-yard line Friday Night Highlight Show. Good night.